Hello, Tiaries. Welcome. So I thought today I would give you a little peek at my two travel tins. Um, when I post about these on Instagram, they seem to generate some interest. So I thought I would do a little walkthrough. Now I have two sizes. I have this smaller one that's great for overnights or quick trips or when I don't have room in my suitcase, which happens often. And then the larger one for more extended stays or when I go uh, to Europe or even if I just want to bring more stuff with me. So we'll start with um, this little guy here, an extra reinforcement. This is just a mint tin that I repurposed, um, spray painted, embellished a little, not particularly artistically. So this is sort of the bare minimum of what I like to travel with to set up sacred space. And in my practice, I work with three rather than four elements, three realms actually, earth, sea, and sky. So I have a crystal to represent earth, a shell for sea, feather for sky, a candle, triskelion that I made, and a uh, half pack of incense matches because I don't need the, the whole thing. I don't know if you're familiar with these. I absolutely love them because in addition to being practical, I can light my candle with them. They just burn a discreet amount of incense for a very short time. So um, rather than smoke out your whole hotel room with the full stick of incense, they are just great. And for me, that's important because scent is a real trigger for me. It just immediately, I'm there in sacred space when I, I smell my incense. And um, so they're great for that. And this comes in so many different wonderful scents as well. So that is it for the little one. And then um, the larger one here, this was a German uh, children's game I brought for the kids when they were little. Um, I forget the name of it, but it uh, was the perfect size to suit my needs. So I, again, embellished it with a little bit of spray paint. And this is generally what lives in here. And I will add other things to it depending on my needs while I'm away. And, um, and you know, if I, if I have the extra space to bring more stuff. So again, I have representation of earth. In this case, I have amethyst, but I will change this stone out for, from time to time. So earth, um, shell for sea feather for sky, another triskelion, um, the other half of the incense matches. I, um, I bring a candle, but not usually a holder. If I am going to bring a holder, I'll bring this one here because it fits nicely, but generally I can just melt the bottom a little bit and stick it on a stone or even on this shell, so don't really need to. Um, this is Palo Santo, which I don't normally work with in my practice, but it smells really good, so it makes my tin smell nice, so I like to keep it in there. And then if I ever did have need of, uh, if I was outside and wanted to um, get some more robust incense action happening, this would do the trick. So um, yeah, so that's generally what lives in here. And then um, I have a couple other things that I will occasionally add to that. Um, I have black salt and white salt in these things that I, these vials I also embellished and they fit nicely in there. If I don't have room for these, then um, I might bring the smaller ones, which again have salt and this is for oil and um, just go right in here. Unfortunately, this one for oil, the seal has weakened with age. The cork is a little bit loose, which is why there's some oil there, but um, that's why I have the felt. <laughs> so in addition to that, I sometimes will bring uh, one of these charms with me. This is my little dish of charms that I, I made this dish in pottery class and I love it. Um, not all of these are specifically for travel, uh, but I figured I'd just show all of them to you anyway. Uh, this is a pottery shard and literally it's a little piece of home that I take with me when I travel. Um, I live in an old home and in the 1700s there was a potter that lived here. So we are always finding these pottery shards. Every time we go to plant something in the garden we get a pottery shard. So <laughs> literally my piece of home when I travel. This is a Roman coin that my husband's grandfather gave me a long time ago, and I love this thing. This is something I specifically use for safe travel. It's so, it's got such a great heft to it. It's sturdy and solid, and um, I, I hate to fly. So this is really nice grounding, solid energy. So that, I have my uh, 
goddess, tiger's eye goddess for goddess energy, obviously, but also for strength and courage. I've got this little um, Irish coin for ancestor energy. It's got a hair on one side and a harp on the other. Got my little owl for wisdom. I have my my crow. Crow is my spirit animal, so it's good for spirit energy. I have uh, just a clear quartz crystal, clarity of thought and mind, and the obvious, a four-leaf clover for good fortune and luck. And so yeah, so that is it. And while I was getting this stuff together for you all, um, I came across this little tin, which is, has nothing to do with travel, but I thought I would share it with you anyway, because it is really sweet and brought back some fond memories for me. Um, I made this for my daughter a long time ago when she was little because she was having trouble with nightmares. She was going through a period where she had nightmares. So I put together this little moon box for her, sweet dream box, and um, it just has a, you know, copy of the moon card in here and sweet dreams and moonbeams and she would just sort of you know she could set it up um on her night table it's not going to stand here but yeah like that set it up on her night table give bring her sweet dreams while she was sleeping and according to her it worked so <laughs> anyway um just thought I would share that as well I hope you enjoyed this series. I uh, love watching these sorts of videos myself, these little travel uh, altar videos. Um, they inspire me and give me ideas, and I hope this did the same for you. If so, please take a moment to give a thumbs up or leave a comment below. It really does help my, uh, my little channel grow, and I truly appreciate it. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.